How much does practicing this kind of heat gives you guys a mental edge as much as a physical edge? Ah, uh, man, it's great. You know, it pushes each other. You know, mentally it pushes us to you know keep on pushing and and uh, push each other, the guys beside us, to you know, keep on working to get better. Do you like being out here in kind of the isolation where you're away from campus and, and getting a, a good camp in for a week? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, it's definitely you know out here. You know, there's no distractions and things like that. We're literally on campus at, uh, you know, where we're staying here. So literally no distractions, so it's, so it's really good. How far off are you from New Zealand? Uh, about 24 hours, yeah, it's a long trip. Yeah, but how close is this to, is this some, a climate that you're... Oh, no, uh, in New Zealand it's real cold, yeah, real cold in New Zealand. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure about Fahrenheit, but in degrees, you know, when it's hot, it's in Celsius, sorry, it's like 25 degrees and that's hot, so yeah. How's the competition with uh, Lamont and Nose Tackle? You're, you're getting most of the first team reps right now, but it feels like he's kind of right behind you. Yes, sir. Oh, man, he's, he's an awesome player. You know, Lamont, Zeus, Van Beek, Romo. We got we got guys all over the board that can that can step up and play. So, you know, having good competi uh, competition, you know, sharpens each other. So, iron sharpens iron, yeah. What was the, what was the focal point of your, your offseason individually and something that maybe Coach Phelps told you to, to really uh, work on going into the summer? Uh, for me, is my pad level. You know, I, last year I, I, would, I, I would be in the position to make plays, but I wouldn't make it because my pads were too high. So off season, you know, was really focusing on pad level and uh, staying low, and also my steps, having correct steps. Yep. Well, being in the system with uh, Clay's in the second year, is it more comfortable for you? Yes, sir. Uh, most definitely. Um, last year, you know, I felt like I was playing catch up the whole year. Um, this year, you know, things are fl flowing a lot more smoothly. So it's amazing. Yeah. Do you feel that even though your time here at WC was, was relatively short compared to some of the guys who've been here for four years and yes, they're sir. asking to get into a leadership role that you've also had to kind of step into that leadership role as well? Yes, sir, yeah, I, I feel like I have had to. Um, you know, there's I think there's only about four, se four or five seniors on the D-line, so um, a lot of us are, are real young, so, you know, we got to set uh, lead by example and, and also um, <laughs> set, set the tempo. How do you describe Will Rogers to someone who never met him before? Will Rogers, man, he's a competitive guy. You know, he's he's he can bull rush, he can use his speed. You know, he, his finesse as well. So, all all over the board, he's a real good player. You, you guys like that he, he talks a little bit out there and talks trash to the offense, and it's, it's friendly. It's not ever malicious. But yes, sir. Is that gonna bring some, some you know, make it fun in practice? Yeah, most definitely. You know, it just makes everything more competitive. You know, we all get fired up. The O line get fired up. So, you know, we we be out there going hard. When, when Gage is in there, and he, he can obviously run a little bit, how much more is that to to account for, for from the defensive line's perspective? He can kind of scramble and, and run around and make a play, even if the the, the pocket breaks down. Uh, you know, just just gotta um, you know, keep in our gaps, you know, so the linebackers can fill in the correct spaces. So he brings another element to the game. You know, you gotta gotta watch out for the run or or the passes. Also, he's a good player.